The typhoon that we just went through literally knocked down that entire wall. Like this wall right here. Well, obviously that one's missing a panel. But the typhoon literally knocked down that entire thing. Like it came like out of the ground. Crazy. Say it, say it, baby. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. Say hi. 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 Open hi. your cue. Open cue. Oh, I'm gonna look pay toys. I'm gonna start a channel for my kids. Anyway, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is the 14th, my birthday is tomorrow, the 15th, October 15th. You guys are either seeing this after my birthday or the day of my birthday. This morning I filmed this makeup look. Just a quick little like get ready with me. For my birthday, I wanted ramen and we had that yesterday. I don't know if we're gonna eat it again. But we had ramen yesterday, because that's what I wanted for my birthday. And then we also had donuts, because I really, really wanted donuts. So today, we're also... I mentioned this before, but you can literally get, like, an entire meal. Like, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Ooh, sorry. My mic. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Honey, you're driving too hard. Anyways, like I was saying, you can literally get, like, breakfast, lunch, and dinner at, and dessert at 7-Eleven. So that's what we're going to go do today. We're going to go to off base to 7-Eleven get some really good food and then we're gonna do like a mukbang type of thing i'm taking you guys with this because i want to show you guys the 7-eleven i'm in a previous vlog when, when we went to go see the snow monkeys i went inside 7-eleven with you guys but if you haven't seen that here's your chance again to see the 7-eleven here in japan we personally think it's better than any other one that we've been to i don't know if i'm gonna be vlogging the whole day i don't know i either might just make this like a mukbang like a separate video or i might make it like a birthday type of thing i don't know but if you guys didn't watch my last video the kids and my husband surprised me with a birthday gift one that i was not expecting and i literally cried so um if you guys haven't seen my previous video go watch it now i'll link it in the cards here and down below for you guys to check that out it's it's just a simple get ready with me but they surprised me <laughs> thank you we just got my mom's birthday present. We got a um, computer for her and her was quiet and her was size for her. Mm -hmm. This is my mom's birthday. Yes, thank you. So we will see you guys at 7 Eleven. Where are we going? Going to 7 Eleven. 7 Eleven? Alright, let's go. This is the one that I always get. I get this big one for me and I get this one for kids. Japan has the best apple juice. I don't care what anybody says. The best apple juice. This is for people, guys. That's a lot of them. So this is our little pastry island. Normally it's like obviously really, really strong. We did just have a typhoon, so. Go ahead, you can, can you let her go there? Let's go. Let's find some. Wait, mommy wants something from here. Over here, they have like this really, really good melon bread. I'm pretty sure it's the same one that they have over there at Disneyland. The Mike Wazowski bread, but it is so good. This is like chocolate chip bread. Chocolate bread. Mm, sounds tempting. Wait, hold it. I'm, I'm still over here. Custard. Custard and whipped cream. Pork cutlet. 
Also over here they have pancakes that come in like little plastic bags like this but it's two pancakes and on the inside is syrup. It is so good. So if you ever come to Japan, I highly recommend the pancakes from 7-Eleven or Family Mart. Look at this one, guys. It's a pork cutlet. Well, this pork cutlet. What'd you get? Nothing. Nice. Look, look at this. Yeah, edamame and cheese. This is what I'm talking about. Oh wait, no, these are sweet potato pancake pancakes, but it's something. It looks just like this. The pancakes I was literally just talking about literally look just like this, but these are sweet potato pancakes. The ones I'm talking about has syrup in the middle. So good. Yeah. So they have all. Like I said, normally it's all really, really packed. Yakisoba here. They have salads. Salads, little side salads. They have these sandwiches. They have like hard-boiled eggs and stuff. I want like one of these, you know. Yeah, what's the bottom right? Yeah, this one. Yeah. It's garlic, bacon, and sausage pepperoncino. Hey, cookie. Pretty sure you just warm it up. We have a variety of ice cream, and then some more stuff. So this one, I'm pretty sure, is curry. Yeah. They even sell curry here that you just warm up. What is this? And then, so These are literally my favorite. I like the salmon one. This looks good. Fried rice. Ooh, these look good. It's like regular katsu. So yeah, these are all of the Really big gallons at the bottom. Alcohol right there. Alcohol. Oh, I think I want to get some chocolate. This, this literally is my, this is the best. It's so good. If you come to Japan, highly recommend that. Got the goods. Getting that. that looks good. Ooh. Getting, yeah. uh, two chickens and then that one. Okay. Get, I'm gonna get one of those too. Okay, we're back in the car. Um, it was kind of hectic in there, but um, we got everything we wanted except they didn't have a corn. They didn't have corn dogs today, which really kind of upset me just because the corn dogs are like my favorite thing at 7-Eleven. So we're actually gonna try to go to either another 7-Eleven or a Family Mart um, or a Lawson to see if they have corn dogs there's some really close to base so we're gonna go there then we're gonna go home and then we'll show you guys everything that we got um in better detail and stuff so yeah the corn dog game is that real we gotta yes. go to another one i literally threw a fit i was in there and i was like i'm not gonna film this video if there's no corn dogs so me and my bratty ways we're gonna try to go to another one to see if we can get me some corn dogs because I, I just need corn dogs you guys our corn dogs at the 7-eleven are so good and you know that like i don't obviously on the keto diet I don't eat stuff like that, so I'm using my birthday as an excuse for me to indulge in all of the bad food before I go back on keto. After my birthday, we are going, well, yeah, Nine both, of, both of us. Strict yeah? into our vacation. Yeah, um, we are doing strict keto, like what we did before. We both lost, he lost, what, 20, 25 pounds, I've lost 45. 30. 30, sorry, he lost 30 pounds, I lost 45 pounds. Um, so in November we have some fun things coming up towards the end so we both just kind of want to get back on keto get back to well we work out anyway but as of like the past two weeks we've just been we haven't been eating bad we just haven't really been counting our carbs and stuff like that so yeah we're gonna get back to keto well you know strictly being on keto and um, yeah BRB secured the bag so we stopped by McDonald's here on base when we should have stopped off base because McDonald's Thank off base you. is so good. Anyway, so we stopped by because we realized that we didn't get our kids anything while we were over there at 70. Well, I don't know. They they would probably just eat. Hold on, there's a car. They would probably only just eat the chicken, like the chicken that I got. But we're like, okay, we should probably get our kids something. And then Milana was like, I want McDonald's. So since it's my birthday, we decided to get some fries. We got a medium to share with us. Share between us, so. I'm sorry to try that noodles and pork mm. today, uh, the noodles mm. I got. I forgot how good fried McDonald's fries are. Sorry, you're not in focus because it's all shaky. But this is the beginning of our mukbang. Shit, rap. You know, I never understood how like people can get like one fry, literally one fry, and eat it at a time. Whenever I eat fries, I've been grabbing like three, four, five, six. No, he grabs time. like ten. No. I've been grabbing a whole bunch at one time. But people are, like. 
one fry. Yeah. What do you do? Oh, like they get one. Fry. Like they just dip one fry at a time in like some ketchup. Like, how do you eat like that? You eat one. Fry. Okay, so we literally have bags full of stuff. So we're literally gonna go piece by piece. So I'm gonna take out my apple juice and then we're gonna eat our hot plate. So when you order stuff like this, they give you spoons and chopsticks. So I don't know if you guys saw clearly, but I got a fried rice and it looks like just like, I don't know, like chili pork or something yeah. like that, but it's so good. It looks so good. I've never tried it. So yeah, fried rice and then oh. some chicken. Also with the chopsticks, when you open it, you also have a little toothpick that comes with it too, which is pretty cool. Normally, so like if you get drinks like this in the big cart, normally they'll give you a straw, but I don't think he gave me one. Oh, no, it's probably not. And he got yakisoba, I uh, think. Yeah, yakisoba. So um, they have a lot of food that's good. Even if it's cold, it's still really good. But they'll microwave it for yeah. you. So that's what he did here. They'll ask you like if you want them to warm it up for you. But easily hands down, I'll say 7-Eleven. Here in Japan. So good. I'm gonna say, I've been to Hawaii, I've been to the Hawaii 7 Eleven. They're just pretty good, but I'm telling you, Japan is better. I said what I said. Thank you. So, yeah, look, so I got the garlic pork and that the sausage. So good. It looks so good. Yakisoba, I don't know too much about it, but I'm pretty sure it's just the way they cook the noodle. I could be wrong. And look, okay, so at the bottom of mine, is there's some noodles there too. It's like a. Mmm. You know what it says? Mmm. Oh, it's good. Like, um. It's that one chicken. I, I forgot. Mm. It's, it's really good. Oh, that's good. I think this is ginger, like, from the sushi. Like, you know the sushi ginger? Wait. I think this is ginger. Really good. Now, normally we don't eat rice and noodles, but like I said, it's my birthday, so we're cheating. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See that? Let me try some noodles. It's hot. <laughs> it's bomb. Yeah, I know, I know a lot of people are like, oh, Hawaii's 7 Eleven. I don't give a fuck about Hawaii's 7 Eleven. He's so stupid. He's kidding. This shit, no, I, I ain't kidding. <laughs> It's right here. Mm. Japan 7-Eleven is where it's at. This is literally our first meal of the day. And it's like 4 o'clock, I think, so. Yakisoba, the garlic um, pork. It's bomb. Really good. Now we're going to partake of the rivers of Asia. So this is the drink that Cyrus is like obsessed with. It's called Aquarius. Honestly, it's... I'm pretty sure they said it's like Powerade to them, right? Something yeah, it's like, along those it's lines. like Japan's Powerade. Yeah. Gatorade crunches. Gator. <laughs> <laughs> Gatorade crunches your thirst. We got so much good food. I don't even know where to begin. Hold on, I need, to take, like, a, just... I need to take one more bite. Hold on. The ginger, like, like you know, you have with sushi, is literally my favorite. When we first got here, if you guys remember our friend Amp. Thank you, babe. <laughs> My kids wanted to be on camera so bad. Anyway, when we first got here, I don't know, I don't even know if you remember, but we first, our very first stop after we landed was 7-Eleven. Our friend yeah. Amp and Janelle took us to 7-Eleven. And the first thing I tried was those pancakes that you guys, that I, should, I was telling you guys about, but the second thing I tried was a corn dog. So, obviously they give you a napkin, and they give you this thing, which is ketchup and mustard. Sorry, it's not that in focus, but it's ketchup and mustard, obviously. And then you like, squeeze it like this and it comes out together. What? So, and I, what I'm doing is, it's like a, mm. for all the parties out there, you know, y'all know what Manapu is. You see that? <laughs> it's like Manapu, but this is, this is their, it's, called, it's like a dumpling, but it's a pizza dumpling. It's called pizza Manapu. Pizza bun. So it's basically good. pizza, but like Manapu style. Mm. So good. Pizza and nice. So a lot of using the bathroom right here. We are just a mess. Bring the wipes, honey. I'm gonna drink some apple juice. Okay, Iris is gonna go help our children really quick. Okay. I'm gonna go back to this because he's, he's taking a break. Mm. Honestly, this is my very first time having yakisoba too. I'm really, really good, missing out. 
Oh yeah, these little chicken cutlets are like his favorite. It's literally, man, best best fried chicken you'll get out there. Mm-hmm. Soft and juicy. Yeah. Bam. Okay, so I also got um, dun, dun, dun. Manapua too, but it's just it, he got pizza. Well, he got a pizza one and a regular mm. and a pork one. I uh, I haven't tried the pizza one, but mmm, oh. good. Okay, I don't know if you're in focus. Sorry if you're not, but it's pretty much just pork inside a really really sweet bun. And then so I showed you the chicken or the fried chicken, the spicy mm -hmm. chicken, and they also have chicken on a stick. <laughs> All types of chicken. It mm -hmm. was all bomb. Um, like you said though, like it's not just regular chicken. Like I don't know what type of like breading they put on it. Or like even like how they fry it. I don't know. But it's not regular ah! like chicken. And so this I've never tried before. I saw it was really good. It's minced minced pork belly wrapped around in the short rib. Oh hi. Oh hi. Mommy. Oh wait, what is that? That's the new one, right? Wait, mm -hmm. I don't think we've tried that. Yes, honey. Like literally, like I said, you can go there for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, mm -hmm. and dessert. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try this. What is this? Hot dog? Mm. Never mind. It's basically like a pork sausage wrapped around bacon. Mm. This chicken that came in my hot plate that I showed earlier, I just can't. I keep going back to it because it's really, really good. Oh my goodness. That's his, I'm full. <laughs> it's delicious. And we still have more stuff. We have more stuff, yeah, yeah, thanks. Oh, he got this Oh, right? sorry about this. So the sandwiches are hella good. They are really good at sandwiches. Really good. Like, okay, sorry, I'm just gonna draw. But they have this really, really good one. It's strawberries and whipped cream inside bread. And when I first saw it, I was like, that looks disgusting, but it is so good. And then we got these. They're like little uh, moosey bees. I, I mean, they're not moosey bee, but they're like moosey bee. It's just they're salmon instead of spam on the inside. Really salmon really rice wrapped yeah. around seaweed. And then I got this chocolate chip bread, which is it's really good. It's really sweet. I'm probably not going to eat all of it. This is the best candy hands down here in... Actually, I don't even know. I can't say hands down, but at the 7-Eleven in Japan. It's literally just like a graham cracker wrapped in milk chocolate, but it is so freaking good. The sandwiches are hella good. Mm -hmm. As you can see... The bread, no crust. Crustless. Usually I get a, a pork cutlet chicken, like a chicken mm -hmm. sandwich. They didn't have it there, so. Oh, they didn't? Uh, no. Teriyaki, chicken, and egg. Different sandwiches and shit like that. Whew. You better eat with me. I mean. Can you believe I'm 26? Oh, I'm older than Cyrus, you guys. You're on the slow decline to 50. You already passed halfway. I know. Another cool thing about like, oh my god, I'm getting full. Japan is that they always have like some kind of cool way to open up your food. Like for instance, oh yeah, like, like with one, the directions one, two, three, how to open it. Yeah, and like on this one it says pull one, pull two, yeah. pull three, and then it all it opens really. Cool. All right. Flawed. And go. Just like that. One, two, and then three. Mm. That sounds interesting. Looks good. Look at that. Crustless. Crustless. And like, the bowl. Look. You're <laughs> so stupid. They just want to be on camera. Hi. Hi. We're, we're going to start, start a channel, channel for our kids. They're going to have a channel. I don't know. At first we talked about it. and At, at first I was against it. I didn't want them to have one. But they... We watch a lot of the other kids on YouTube and they just, they really enjoy it. So, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. If all those kids can do it, <laughs> my kids can do it. Mm -hmm. They love it though. They love being on camera. I think it would be fun if we did it. Mm -hmm. I think they'd, they think they'd really enjoy it too. Well, they, yeah, they love it. Like, look at this one already coming in here trying. <laughs> what? I can't fix this thing. What? This arms. Come. Yeah, we're really thinking of doing a uh, page for them. They'll probably just do like, you know, like the toy reviews toys, or, yeah, yeah like those little activities that all the others, all the others, no. all the other kids do. I, I okay, if, you guys are gonna laugh. Even though it says one, two, three, four, I still never do it right. Oh, wait. One. 
Pull two. Oh, I did it. Pull three. There you go. Here, bug. Mama, can I have the juice? I think I'm popping out. I hit a wall. I'm so Hey, you guys go in the front. For the very first time in my life, I sadly caught my family's curse. <laughs> I, I, caught, I caught the gout on Friday. Gal, like, Gal just runs inside Cyrus' family. And like, he came home. Hold on, I'm not focused. He came home and literally was like, like Friday after PC, he was like, babe, I think I have gout. And I was like, no, you don't. <laughs> it was gout. It was gout. <laughs> all, but like, I don't know. All, I felt bad because like all last week, we literally just had pork chops because we were just trying to get rid of the meat that we had before buying like new meat. And all we had left was pork chops. <laughs> my poor I husband. <laughs> I pride myself in the fact that because all my, my dad has it and all my brothers, they always get it. Yeah. All of them. Like whenever my brothers get gout, their foot swells up. So I was like, my foot hurts, but it's not swelling up. But it got to the point where I couldn't even walk. So I, I had to have walk around with a little crutch. But my foot wasn't swollen, so I was in, I was in denial. I was, in, <laughs> I was denial. I was in denial that I had um gout. But now three days later, <laughs> Ew, my foot, my foot, <laughs> my foot is I think, perfectly, the, I think the food is getting to his head. My foot is perfectly fine, and I'm walking on it. So I think I just come to terms that <laughs> it's my first experience with gout. Pretty bad, isn't it? Yeah, you're only 25. I'm only 25. We should not be getting out. I must have high, my, my blood pressure must be really high. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna have one of these just so I can take a bite for the video and then I'm done. Wait, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little buttery, but it's chocolate chip. Oh, no, not really. See? You look between 30 and 50, so I'm safe. You're not 30. So I'm only five years away from it. As I eat this pork bun. <laughs> Do your worst, Gal. <laughs> we did not finish anything. Anything. We are tapping out. We're full. We're done. Like I said, we didn't finish anything. If you hear our kids, our doors open. Anyway, that's it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys ever get the chance, we're just a mess over here. <laughs> if you ever get the chance to come to Japan, I really hope you guys try a 7 Eleven. Amazing food. Um, anything to say? Nope. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching.